Back to dinosaur game. Which means talking about Mario. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, uh, 3D, exploring 3D environments was a new thing, so. Yes. Exciting. And the garden was beautiful back then. Yeah. And these days it, it's, well, some people even call it ugly as shit. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I hear, I hear people Jesus say that. Christ. Those jumps are so close <laughs> yeah. all the time. I hear people say that, uh, oh, I hear people say that it, the graphics in 64 really haven't aged well, and I guess I agree with them, uh, as I calmly evade <laughs> Day Nomicus. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, Jesus. Nice platforms. <laughs> So I guess I agree with people that the graphics haven't aged well, but uh, I can still... We, we've talked about this on the show. Both of us can go back to a place where it still looks good to us. Oh, yeah. We can just take in our minds what they want them to look like and sort of... Yeah, it's, it's kind of willful immersion, I think. Yes, yes yeah. it is. That's exactly what it is. You don't have to have, you don't have to have everything spoon fed to you. And I'm not saying it's bad to have better graphics. No, no, no. It's good to have better graphics, but when you don't, you can just make do. Yeah, you can just immerse yourself. So, me and Moogle, we can both do that. Yeah. And uh, that's why the game is still beautiful to me. Yeah. And, um, but anyway. Modern gamers are gonna find the the garden just butt ugly. Yeah. So yeah. they're not gonna explore it. They're gonna go straight for the front door of the castle, which I did after hours of playing around in the garden. Yeah. So they're gonna go straight for that first painting, that is the first world, and they're gonna jump in and they're not gonna know the controls. Yeah. Actually, now I think about it. In Super Mario World, you have the Yoshi's place. Yes. There, yeah. And that's just a screen with apples in it. Yeah. Some are higher than others. And there's, yes. a few, there's the info box to jump higher. Yes. So that's basically like Mario's castle. When you were a kid, you were jumping there and seeing how, how high you can jump to get the apples. Oh. With Yoshi. Yeah. So that's kind of the th same thing. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, Mia. Miyamoto has uh, no Shigeru Miyamoto has known that particular piece of game design for a long time. So yeah, he just used the same trick again. Yeah, which is fine. <laughs> but people these days won't react the same way that he expects you to react. Which is not you, your you guys' fault. <laughs> uh. I mean. Your new, newer, the, the ones who are, of course. Oh, I'm shit. not talking to everyone. Bad. Well, I've already gotten an extra life, so. Yeah. Unintentional farming of lives. Yeah. I'm trying to get to the end, but I keep dying. Oh, poor man. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah. You guys won't find, won't find the garden beautiful with, with a lot more beautiful games that you've played before. But... We did back in '97. Well, I did. Moogle had. Yeah, yeah, I am. So, so yeah, that's the thing about Mario 64 controls. That's some situation you were in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I like that situation. They obviously did that on purpose. Yeah. Two of them on both sides. Oh. 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 Yeah, so... Ouch. 
So that's the reason I think Mario 64 controls are superb. Because I've spent a lot of time getting to, getting used to them like anyone did back in 97. But um, these days people just try to plow through the game and then you won't get used to the controls and then they won't be as much fun for you. Yeah. I guess if, they, if the controls were just flat out so good that you have to train them, it would be better, but yeah. Kind of, it was early 3D, so yes. what are you going to do? And uh, Miyamoto did spend uh, a lot of effort in making the controls as good as he could, because there's this story about, uh, about the development process of the game that the first thing he had designed was just a field of flowers, like, and, um, and there was this tiny rabbit running around, and the only thing you could do was catch the rabbit. And Miyamoto would spend just hours playing around with the rabbit until yeah. he got the controls just right. And I just remembered there's this stage also. Actually, there's a lot of stages. Yeah. Quite a bit to get a password, really. Yeah, that's true, but you just gotta be good. Yeah. I mean, I know... I don't remember this stage, but I remember seeing other dinosaurs, which is weird. This is Maybe a... my cousin showed me on a password or something. This is I, th a... I think I was there when he got this game. I don't remember anymore. This is a difficult stage. You have to know what to do. You all can get you can get more oxygen from these bubbles. Yeah. And don't fight those water dinosaurs. You can't win. At least that's how I remember it. Yeah. I'm not sure if you can even attack. Yeah. Underwater. But this is a cool stage. It's cool. But swimming swimming levels. Do you have an opinion? Usually they suck. Yeah. But I like this one. Yeah. I mean, of course, I like it now that I know what to do. Oh! <laughs> I like it now that I know what to do, but back when I first played this game, oh, I'm yeah, dead. you have limited amounts of lives to learn it. Yeah. So uh, there is that. Yeah. But anyway, now that I know it, it's really cool. Oh, but oh it's, there's always an extra. Yeah, if, if you just find. It. Yeah. So actually, this could be one of my favorite swimming stages, because I think it's really cool. Yeah. And usually I hate swimming stages, yeah. so... I also hate ice stages, because, uh, let's take some control away from the player. That's I usually way. like them a bit. I don't really have a problem with them. I I kinda like Look it. at this cane. I won't I won't. <laughs> it's cool. I I I was I, I really it took me a long time to find that piece of DNA because it was in a cave. Yeah. That felt really rewarding when I found it. For oxygen. Yep. But yeah, if there are ice stages where there are objects and enemies that are they they slip away too. Then I then I kind of like it. But if it's just you having a difficult time, then then yeah. Yeah, it's even kind of even in Mario Three, the the enemies don't suffer from the ice. Yeah. So it's just a problem for you. Yeah. The swimming stage that I remember, maybe liking most. This is. There may, might be something I don't remember, but Metal Gear Solid 2's two, two swimming level is my favorite, maybe. And that's just tolerable no. for me. I don't right. like it, but I can do it. <laughs> but yeah. This is the last copy stage. <laughs> We're finally at the last copy stage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure, I believe you. But yeah, Metal Gear Solid 2, you, you could get into that. Yeah. And it's not, it's not even well, fun for me, it's just, I mean, or that, that one, it's, it's just 
better than most. That's this is a cool stage. Enough to fire the hole. <laughs> you just gotta keep running or he'll hit you. Yeah. And that guy's actually who you play as next. Yeah. Oh, asshole. That, uh, that kind of bothered me as a kid. I'm playing as this asshole. Because <laughs> I like playing as good guys. So yeah. This guy's an asshole. I'm sure you do. It isn't an auto if he says so. Nope. Just be cocky. Yep. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty I, cool design if this is a spiral, this whole cave. Yeah, it is. This is the kind of stuff they usually don't do in 3D. Oh! Game. I guess it's all old or something. Everything is being done. I don't think so, because God of War had some stuff in here. You don't see those where. Take that instinct so you like that laser shit. Oh, I mean, yeah. Well, I'll finish this next episode.